Hey chaps, I just thought I'd do a quick update because some of you have been going on about Kate or the lack of videos with Kate. I've just spent uh, Saturday and today Sunday on the seal, a post, trying to get their wing to fit with the door, etc, etc. I'm now here with the uh, the seal, so I've got a lot of... Uh, because we're going through triple skin, some, some places have got triple skin. Having a bit of a snack. Apple cheese and digestives. Yep, you can't go wrong with that. Now, what did I want to show you guys? Oh, here we go, yeah. Right, this is a clampy clampy tool, okay, Jaws. I've got a, 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 a big thick strip of copper. It's just loose, right, and I put it behind. And then I clamp it hard. And it not only compacts the three skins together, but it also stops you from... Um, you know going too far the other way and you can confidently really go with the um, the welding torch on a on a high heat uh, to create that, that sort of thing All right obviously we've got a bit of work here um, just just pinning it in I don't have any I should have took a video earlier on with the parts on but uh, we are having issues with uh, the line on the wing, the wing is a pattern part, and uh, it, basically it needs some uh, delicate uh, working because the some of the wing in the middle of the wing where it meets the the, the door, uh, there's sort of the wing isn't where it wants to be, and it's sort of uh, got a bit too small of a gap. So that's the problem. Anyway, I just thought I'd. Uh, show you Kate uh, now it's making progress and yeah so in a bit well say in a bit who knows how long we can the, the A post can go in after the seal which I'm probably going to be finishing the seal tonight for the welding then the A post can go in it'll probably be another day and then I've got to do this panel up here which is the uh, you know, that scuttle thing. Uh, and once those are there, um, I'll probably put, put the door back on and the wing back on and look about making sure that the wing is okay and that it will go on correctly. And that is a massive milestone. Uh, then we'll probably be spending a few million hours getting the inner rail or whatever it's called, this thing here, to take the the new wing and yeah all of that you know ah i just wanted to say guys it's a bit late but i wanted to say thank you to some of you who took the time and the mo did made the mileage to come and see us at dude stock some of you there's only a couple two or three couples that did that thank you very much guys it was very nice of you to make the massive uh journey to come to dude stock i hope you enjoyed it and there's a little video coming out about Gav and I rebuilding these, some old uh, classic Weber DCV carburetors of an Alfa Romeo. And uh, we'll be posting a video soon uh, with that. So that's just a short here to give you guys an update on the Capri, the 69 Capri. Thank you very much for watching and asking and being interested in what we're doing. And... Uh, the pop, I took that home last night and on the way back this morning, the brakes faded. So I've just put a note for Tony saying poor brakes and we've also got a fuel leak on the tank, which is a bit of a fire hazard. So this, this thing here, which is a fuel sender, we've tried with gaskets and uh, rubber seals and bringing, you name it, and it's still leaking because we filled the tank and it is a fire hazard right next to the battery. Okie dokie guys, have a nice uh, Sunday evening and I'll see you next time. Bye.